So we started this project using uh, two very closely related uh, species, rat and mice. So we use the stem cell derived from the rat and we inject them into the mouse embryos. We could see that rat cells, stem cells from the rat, could be introduced into a mouse. And there they are educated to become organs. Organs that are composed mainly of rat cells. This is the first proof of principle that we could recreate that environment that allows cells to grow into another animal, inside another animal. And with those first results is when we attempted to replicate them, but in this case using human cells into a larger animal, the cow or the pig. What we're doing is putting these human stem cells in a natural environment, inside a living animal. In this natural environment, they can grow, they can differentiate. In simple words, they can be educated to become a heart, a liver, or a pancreas cell type. And this is something very exciting because for the first time we can see how human cells can grow inside an animal. The implications of these results are vast. The ultimate goal for this type of research is to, to whether we can use this technology to generate human tissue and organs. But before we do that, uh, we need to to understand how the human cells and pig cells interact during this process um, and to, to increase the survival of human cells in the environment.